Brian death yake ilikuwa avoidable like ni kitu ingezuiwa let me tell you why death ya chira kama ni ukweli aligongwa na gari akiwa mlevi death ya chira ilikuwa preventable ilikuwa preventable do you know why tukuje hapa nyako na babati tukuje kwa kina nyako na babati nyako na babati walichangishia Brian almost uh, zilifika 300k sio zilifika 300k and something pesa and the mistake they did Brian ni mtoto mwenye alipoteza mama yake akiwa na 8 years Brian ni mtoto mwenye alienda pate na wenzake and he was raped infected with HIV the moment alijua kuna that HIV he lost it Brian Chira Brian Chira he was depressed 24/7 Ungeona like the moment utawahi kutana na best yako mwenye anachekanga sana mwenye anapenda kukua happy happy 24/7 most of the time those people are the worst depressed people Brian mlikuwa mnamuona TikTok maybe ana entertain But at the end of the day the guy was depressed. The moment alipoteza ule auntie yake mwenye alikuwa breadwinner. That is why akakuja akagundua he is HIV, he doesn't have a parent, ana mtu wa kumuita mama ma dad, he just as alikuwa tu na shosh. Shosh mwenye akona pia watoto wengine wawili wenye wana take care of them. Na ana job, ana anything like there's rent, there's food, there's school, there's everything. Brian aka drop out of school to support to 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 help the grandmother. Now nyako akakuja akafika to a point of wakaona they can help. Akiwa na baba T, wakaona wanaweza saidia Brian. Wakapata pesa. The mistake they did, they were supposed to take Brian to rehab. Not kumpatia nyumba, not kumnunulia kiti ya that and that, not kumnunulia sijui TV, not they were supposed to first of all take Brian to rehab because already alikuwa drunkard, alikuwa addict wa pombe. Brian alikuwa bado ile depression inamkula because even if you provide me with material things and I'm depressed because I lost somebody close to me. Boys na mama wao My boys na mama especially the way he was young na aka watch the way wameachwa there's nothing ana baba ana anything nyako and babati you guys were supposed to take Brian to rehab not kumbaya material thing Brian today angekuwa alive Brian angekuwa even when they knew after after kumbaya hizo vitu even when they knew bado anaendelea kukunywa pombe they did not take him to rehab they did not give him a listening here when somebody is depressed siku yenye utakaa chini alafu upate best yako ni ule msee anakupayukia everything listen ka chini umskize sawa Those people wanakuanga wakitaka tu kusikilizwa. That's all. Nimekwambia kifo cha Brian kilikuwa avoidable like pro, eh, kinge preventiwa was preventable. Angekuwa rehab leo tungekuwa na Brian leo. But nobody took a step. Wamechangisha pesa, wameenjoy venye wameenjoy, wamefanya nini? Eh, wamejenga jina huko kwa mitandao. Lakini they did not think about taking him to rehab fast arikave aache pombe aongee na mtu afungue roya what is eating you brian nobody was there for him at the end of the day mumembaia kila kitu mumemlipia rent but usiku ikifika anaenda tu kukaa kwa ile nyumba peke yake and imagine niko na niko na madawa za kumeza am hiv positive i don't have a mom i don't know where to get a job kila mtu ananiogopa because i'm infected and that is what has killed brian it's sad ni ukweli ni uchungu sana because we have orphans sio tuko na watoto hapo majirani ambao ni ma orphans 
sometimes tunawatesa because unaona mtu hakuna mahali ataenda lakini ukweli ni kwamba hawa watu wanateseka Brian Ed no one anapigia shushushu anamwambia hakuna kitu mwanangu Hmm? Brian akajaribu kufanya content like yule upuzi akaona tu acha nitumbukie kwa pombe at least nikienda kulala sitafikiria we have more Brian's it is not just about this Brian alone we have more Brian's hapo kwa kijiji tuko na Brian wengi sana pa huo tu ine we na best ya go Brian otoyo ukwetu this through kid utakiki anapitia kitu kama hii ya Brian let's help them Tusimame na kama huyo mtu ni wakupeleka rehabilitate nyako nyako na baba ti like hapo walikosea wao wange save maisha ya ukijana leo tungekuwa na Brian lakini kitu walifanya walienda wakambaia kila kitu kwa nyumba sijui shopping hiyo itamsaidia aje it is about it is matter of what do you feel Brian alikuwa anasikia nini It is not, it was not it is sometimes it is not always about material things it is about your heart roho yako ina filaje until you are in peace until until uko na that peace of mind no matter hata upatiwe the whole kenya hautafurahia you would be happy brian was never happy maybe ungemwona anapiga tiktok angefanya nini but he, he just needed a rehab rehab ya pombe na therapists mtu atakaa chini amwambie Brian fungua roho yako what do you feel then akishapona apatiwe jo, aekewe job ya nails ukiona amepaka rangi because an advertise kazi yake ya 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 ya, 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 ya mnaitanga aje hizo nails hizo hizo vitu za urembo afunguliwe place yake anajua leo ni kilala naamka nikienda kufungua nini nikienda kufungua i don't know where that 300k ilienda Sioni yako ka bed sita kalikula 300k Do you guys tell me 300k ilisha hapo akufunguliwa biashara there's nothing Hey we have scammers kwa TikTok We have total scammers kwa TikTok 300k Kila mtu akitoa mia yake mwingine akatoa 50 bob yake mwingine akatoa 500 yake mwingine akatoa 300k yake Where did that money of Brian 300k ilienda kumpeleka bed sitter kumulipia 6 months juu 6 months wacha ziishe my friend Brian akatumbukia tena kwa ile depression atalipa ile rent na nini na nyumba yenyewe inalipwa 15000 Kenya shillings na ana ile pesa hata ya kukula hakuna Kwa nini ange kunywa pombe aone gari inakuja basi akimbia akajigongeshe kama that is true, if that is the truth Uh, but for now we are holding on that we don't know exactly what killed him ni mtu alimuua aligongwa ali... because kuna ma witness wengine wa upuzi wanatafuta content na, na mtu mwenye ametuacha sometimes i just like unaweza feel kushika mtu hivi umwekelea tu makofi uone kama hiyo akili yake itaamka unaweza kutunga story tu utengeneze content so brian was depressed huyo brian uko na yeye hapo the other brians we have in our society